<clears throat> Hello, I'm Kate Wood and um, the beginning and end of this video are going to be as awkward as each other, I'll just say that. I haven't quite figured out how to do a selfie vid, but I'm doing it for my solo show with Robin at Purple Moon on the 5th of August. And uh, just to give a uh, kind of an overview of what I do, if that's possible. Essentially, it's a painting practice, although it's becoming more object-based at the moment, but essentially, um, I'm a painter. And um, when I was doing my master's in 1999 in Sydney, I felt that my work was basically empty, didn't have uh, it didn't have any guts as far as I was concerned. I wasn't, and I didn't want to, my master's was coming up, so that was very um, onerous. And I wanted to put my best foot forward and I did not want to slap a story on my work and use the work as a vehicle. So I thought, well, I'll, um, I was reading Elizabeth Gross's Volatile Bodies at the time and I was very impressed with that book. Um, so I went home to my, um, I thought, well, where have I had the most intense experience physically in my life? And that would have been my childhood. So I went home to mum and dad's farm in the southwest of WA and I started to uh, dig things up, old rusty bits of um, uh, machinery. I took some old cashmere bags. I took stuff out of mum's china cabinet and trundled it all back to Sydney and began to unpick and remake the bags um, to cast the things that I'd got the objects in resin and also make fiberglass sculptures because that had, surfing had been a big part even though I didn't participate, I just watched. So, um, so I had this object thing going on in my work and it was great and I loved it. And then um, Masters finished, I found myself pushing a pram around the streets of Randwick. Hello, I was just doing a selfie. I'll continue. Um, don't come out. And um, so then the stuff that came into my work was the stuff in other people's skips. And then, and that was great. I loved that. It was sort of an installation assemblage type thing, still painting. Then we came back here and um, my daughter started school, so the brakes went on, then the wheels fell off because the galleries here are a lot closed. So for a long period, um, I didn't really know if I would make work again. Um, but to keep my hand in, just to see if there was anything really in it for me, I um, made small paintings on cardboard. Cardboard's also in skips and it's great to work on as a substrate. And then um, uh, still lives, just uh, to keep me aware of where I was and what was happening. Um, but also just to see if I could make a work about something without um, drawing it, illustrating it. I wanted to just get the feel of it. Then everything um, horizons broadened again because galleries started opening and my practice scaled up. I went on Instagram and slowly began um, making larger works. And then I went back and revisited that period, that original formative period where I introduced the materials into my work. And of late, I have um, had some little assemblages with knitting, but there's a lot of clay work now at the moment. The work is primarily paintings and clay work. At first, I didn't get the clay fired, um, but now I do. And at first I didn't get it glazed, but now I do. And I'm really loving that aspect of it. Um, so yeah, uh, paintings and objects, and there may be a few of the clay works in the show. Um, that's it. Hope that's given um, some insight into my work. Thanks for watching.